Mark Esconti reporting. Got three big stories today, three hot stories for you. And uh, and a little new software, as you can notice. Look at this. I'm all, I'm over here in the corner. <laughs> so let's jump into these uh, stories, a um, uh, little top stories. I'll do three stories today. And um, I think the big one right here is Italy. Italy, you heard of Brexit? Now you're going to hear Italy, Italy exit. <laughs> we need a word for it. Italy exit. Italy exit. Huh? Italy is 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 figuring it out. They're ready to kick out the bankers and lock them up. <clears throat> so Italy's populist government. So I'll, I'll talk about that one. I'll talk about um, McCabe too. Um, congressional testimony backs up McCabe's claim of DOJ's talks to remove Trump, right, through the 25th Amendment. So it's kind of confirmed that this guy's a traitor, still walking around. And uh, Bernie Sanders is coming to Brooklyn. He's coming to Brooklyn. <laughs> yeah. So let's talk here. Let's start here. So, um, so this is big news. This is the big news right here because Italy is a major player in the uh, European Union, right? And if Italy decides to fold its cards, take its ball, and go home, uh, then uh, then. Uh, Europe's and Europe's the European Union, the state of the European Union, is, you know, in trouble, right? But and so are we, right? We're all connected in in that way. So, but here's the thing with Italy. This is why it's so spectacular is that they figured it out, and they have their their finger on the pulse that it is the central banks, right? Let me read a little bit. Italian's coalition government has taken aim at the country's central bank and stock market regulators as it intensifies its attack on establishment figures in the run-up to the European parliamentary election in May. So this guy is uh, Matteo Salvini, and his, he's the deputy prime minister of Italy. And then there's the prime minister of Italy, Giuseppe Conti. <laughs> my brother, my brother from a different mother in Italy. Uh, Giuseppe Conti, right? So Italy's um, Matteo, uh, deputy prime minister and head of uh, the right wing league, said on Saturday, "The management of the of it of the Bank of Italy and the market uh, watchdog. See the the Bank of Italy. That's the equivalent of our Fed, our uh, central bank. You know, system. We have twelve federal banks. Uh, Italy apparently has one." And the watchdog, CONSOB, CONSOB uh, is the stock market regulator. Our equivalent is the SEC, right? Have to, um, so he's saying that the, the Bank of Italy and the regulator have to be completely cleared out. We are here because those who should have supervised did not. He's calling an end to the Fed in Italy. Pals, fucking... Damn, damn! Yet now the Italians are leading. The Italians are leading. First is the French, and now the now the, the the French people are leading. But now the Italian government. This is the same shit. This is the tension between Macron, the president of France, and the leadership in Italy. Is because the the leadership in Italy is actually calling out the problem, which is the the central banking system that they print fake money. They 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 claim to be on on to themselves independent, but it really it's a it's a bad banking system, right? So so uh, viva viva Italia. So Matteo. Now he also added, the fraudsters who inflicted loss on Italian savers should end up in prison for a long time. Wow, guy's not playing. Salvino was speaking with the coalition partners. Uh, the five-star leader and Prime Minister Linguini Di Miao. <laughs> it sounds like uh, like a dish. I'll take some Linguini Miao, Linguini Di Miao, <laughs> to an audience of former investors in Blanc, Blanca Pop Popolare di Vincenzi and Ventiano Villaggio, blah, 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 two two of Italy's failing banks. Right, so the banks are failing in Italy, right, and. Um, they have like almost zero growth, right? Economic growth for 2019 was 1% <laughs> uh, 
that was the expectation. Now it's down to 0.6 percent. There's no growth. Why? Because it's a it's a sham economy, right? We you know it's it's like the service economy, a debt economy, right? So it doesn't really work. So great news in Italy. Um, this we should be taking note uh, in the U.S. People that want to eliminate the fraud, uh, eliminate the Fed fraud. That was a slip, right? You want to you want to uh, end the Fed, right? But it's also you see how it's intuitively tied to the banking system and the whole uh, the whole rigmarole. So that's Italy. Let's talk about um, congressional testimony backed up McCabe's claim of DOJ's DOJ talks to remove Trump, right? So as in Venezuela, we're watching a soft coup could become a hard coup where the Trump's all Trump's men, you know, uh, jo- uh, Pompeo and and Elliot Abrams, all the, all the crooked CIA guys. You got you got Goldman Sachs, you got Steve Mnuchin in there fucking up their economy, trying to sink them, right? Right down in Venezuela, right? And and um, right and here you have evidence of. McCabe trying to get rid of Trump on a fake Russia story, right? You see how see how, how how deep the corruption runs, right? We know this, right? But I just want to touch on McCabe because this not this isn't necessarily the the straw that breaks the camel's back, right? That if you this is the swamp as Trump defines it, right? But this isn't really the problem. The problem is the first story that I just talked about which is the central banking system, which I've always talked about. I've always said it's the banking system, and now it's starting to come to an arrowhead, right? It was Occupy Wall Street in the U.S., then it was the Bernie Sanders movement, the surge in populism, and Trump stole that populism and made it a fake populism. We've never been so good, right? So, But anyway, let's talk about the corruption. So Congress testimony backs up former acting FBI director Andrew McCabe's account that Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein was taking was taking to high level official talking to high level officials officials about him invoking the Twenty Fifth Amendment to remove Donald Trump. Right, so it's confirmed now. Fox News reported Sunday that former top Justice Department lawyer James Baker testified before Congress and told lawmakers that he had heard from McCabe, an FBI lawyer. Lisa Page, that Rosenstein had told them that they, there were at least two Trump cabinet officials who backed the move. They need six, right? Six cabinet members, six of Trump's cabinet members to turn on Trump and get him out, right? And then, right, so through, that's a coup, right? So we got all these coups going on, right? So that's confirmed. Corruption at the FBI DOJ level, right? And before that, it was it was it was rather obvious with uh, with uh, the president, President Obama and uh, and Loretta Lynch. So massive corruption. McCabe, they'll, again, scot free. They'll walk. They're not, no one's going to go to jail. No, it's not going to happen. Let's talk about this last one right here. Bernie Sanders. So Bernie Sanders uh, might launch a presidential bid at Brooklyn College. So there was a leak right that said. Sanders, look at the picture they put. Look at the fucking Bernie Sanders. They were already smearing him with the shot. Look at the fucking, well, it was hair a mess at the post, right? All right so there was a uh, a leak that said Bernie Sanders has already produced a uh, video um, that he's promoting he's for his campaign for 2020. So it's already confirmed. And now there's this um, talk that. He's going to go to Brooklyn and um, give a talk. He still feels the burn and Brooklyn for Brooklyn and the presidency, the post. Democratic Socialist, Vermont Democratic Socialist Bernie Sanders is in talks with Brooklyn College about giving a major outdoor speech at the campus, fueling speculation that the rally there would be part of a rollout for a second presidential run. Of course it is. That's what it is, right? Flatbush native attend, attended Brooklyn College. By the way, it's about a mile away from where I live. I'll be there. Flatbush native attended Brooklyn College for a year, not far from his childhood home, and his older brother, Larry, is a Brooklyn College graduate. 
he has kept close ties to the City University of New York School, having delivered the commencement speech there in 2017 when he received an honorary degree. So Bernie Sanders, right? Why do I bring up, why do I always bring up Bernie Sanders? Not because it's not about the guy, right? It's about the the real populist movement that should have been in America. And this guy right here is talking about it. He always has talked about fucking Sanders said, break up the banks. Sanders said, get the money out of politics. Sanders, Sanders says that, that, the, that the industry is deeply, deeply corrupted. The politicians all work for the, for the donors, right? Nobody else is saying that. That's why he's such a valid candidate, right? If you could just get Sanders' voice in there, I think we'll have, um, we'll have uh, a, popul- a, a, a possibility of getting to this right here, which is ousting the, the, the central banks, break up the banks. Because if you oust the central bank, ultimately you're going to break up the banks that are on life support, all that free money, right? All that um, free cash, right? Uh, quantitative easing, right? They just get money and money and money. 700 billion, 500 billion, 800 billion. Remember in 08, they just got a, they got blank checks, right? And whatever they got, we estimate that they got twice that. So, so, um, so it's all good stuff, you know? It's all, um, it's all uh, pretty powerful stuff today. Um, I, I'm very optimistic seeing that uh, Italy is now taking charge of their economy, is now placing their finger on the problem. Hopefully the yellow vests will also uh, point their finger at the problem. Maybe now that the populism in Italy is rising, right, we'll see this this pro-government move rather than an anti-government move, right? See, that's that's why Matteo and Conti are, are important because they're on the right side of the people as opposed to Macron in France, who's on the wrong side of the people. And arguably, our whole administration is on the wrong side of the people. Trump, his whole cabinet, Congress, Senate, all on the wrong side of the people. So, so uh, Marcus Conti reporting.